So here we are, the final two group games. Win them both, and we are through. Probably in the top eight, which means we'll enter in the quarterfinals. In the league, we're top. We're winning a lot of games. We had a little spell of drawing. We're back in form. Kamara Cup semi-finals against Tramia Rovers. I think we're fine there. And we have an FA Cup game against Watford in between the two Champions League games. It's all hard enough. It's time to get into this episode. Welcome, welcome back. It has been a little while and you have missed quite a bit in that time as well. So, in the transfers, let's do this. Juncker has gone out on loan. We have sold Jose Marquez for 17 million and we bought him. We got him for free. So, very good bit of business there. Dietz went on loan. Michael Fernandez didn't really play many games for us. Was a backup. Bump 3.1. Sold him for 5.75. More than happy with that. And then Kari, who was in his last six months of his contract. We got him for free um, a little while ago. Sold him for 5.5 million. Made a nice little bit of money off of him. And I think that is... Oh, yeah, and as you kn already knew, uh, it's over. We bought him for 26, sold him for 26. And we also got rid of Vanek because he was whining for 10.75 million, making a nice, tidy little bit of profit off him, too. And we have brought in, it's already arranged, Junio, 27 years old, Brazilian, has a very good um, what he's worth. Always played in Brazil for Fluminense. And I'm very happy that we have brought him in. It does mean that our team now looks a little bit different. If we can get to the right screen, bone slightly injured. And we have quite a few of these players who are unregistered that we'll have to take out. and Do this quick pick for. Randall is wanted, but we are trying our best to hold on to him. Anyone else wanted? Luke Morris wants on loan. Um, anyone else really wanted let's just filter get rid of the under 21s and let's get rid of the unavailables um lynch can come in lynch will start this game scott does get on the bench and injured joel let's get into this game we'll do this um you suggested squad for some reason, winter. There, there's a glitch with winter that because he's been put into this trialist team, there's nothing much I can do. I can't use him. So I'm hoping that we can get rid of him because I can't actually do anything with him. Other than um, offer him a new contract. Uh, development, there seems to be a bug. Which means... Yeah, that, that he's just stuck there and there's nothing I can do about that. So, so yeah, that, that's just an unfortunate thing that we are having to deal with. And the only change is Lynch. So let's get into this game against Atleti. It is massively massively important to us to win this win and we're definitely going to qualify for at least around 16 which is more money for the team it's more money for the pot it's more money to get rid of this deck that's what we're doing now we're not buying anyone we're just trying to get rid of all the debt as, as much of the debt as possible so just important that we have a good game we're going to keep an eye on this as well because Atleti are here a win puts us up to 13 points which will Move us up right now to about fourth. Uh, Hemmingson plays a beautiful ball and Blanco does well to get it round the bar or round the post, should I say. Ball has gone out for this corner. Ocalo plays in. Mitchell's there. Oh, and the header is poor from Mitchell. Madrid 1 0 up against Mulder, which, you know, they're already qualified. They don't need to brag about it. Um, and yeah, other than that, Everything's trying to come to plan. Top of the league. We had that weird period of drawing every single game, which was that Boxing Day period. But 
then we beat QPR 3-1 and since then we've sort of got back to being in some kind of form. That's great for Macalo Lynch now to Junior Junior to Blanchard. Blanchard, he has time. Can he find the cross? Yes, he can, but it's going to fall back and Maury puts it in there and it's off the bar. Lynch not able to get around it easily. And we're pulling up to half time. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Not going to say it at all. Unless we score. And Gib to Ocalo. Ocalo to Lynch. Lynch passes it back now. It's with Junior. Junior to Blanchard. Blanchard to Hemmingson. Hemmingson to Lynch. Lynch to Junior. Junior now out. And I think Ocalo is offside here. I'm not going to celebrate because I'm sure he is offside. So I'm just going to hands up. Come on. Give it to us. Goal awarded. He is onside. Akalo has scored. And we get an injury. Holgund is going to have to come on and play in that position, which I'm pretty sure he can play. But it's another aerial threat. Akalo, Mitchell. And Randall is there to make it 2-0. Brilliant, brilliant little spell. Moves us up to sixth. We're in the quarterfinals as it stands. And that is all that truly matters. I'm happy with the number of shots on target we've had. Continue to go. I don't think Lynch wants to be a pressing forward as much as an advanced forward would do him better. I think that would be a, a better option, but Tajima is injured here. Unfortunately, he is quite injured. We are now going to wait till the 60th minute and then make our changes as the ball is played in, but Thompson is there. He's been a very good replacement for Dickinson. Dickinson, very hard player to replace. We've done very well with Thompson. Uh, Blanchard now, what's he going to do? He's going to pass it back, and it's to Mitchell. Mitchell. We're just trying to play it round them, and I'm a bit worried we're going to get caught out here, but it's out now to Hogland. Hogland, what's he going to do with the ball? He finds Ocalo, Ocalo to Ngib, Ngib to Blanchard. Blanchard, there's a load of players in the box. Blanchard goes for the shot, and it's a very, very poor shot in the end. A very, very annoying shot as well. So we're 60 minutes in, let's make our changes. So Jose is going to come on. We're going to bring on Takeda. For Blanchard, we are going to bring on Junio for Akalo, and we don't really have many defensive options, so we'll bring on, he's not the best, but I'm sure he'll do, I'm sure he will do, please, please do. As they do start to get a bit more attacking now and get a bit more pressure. But Randall, Junior and Ngib are, are, Nagib, should I say, are playing very, very well. 15 minutes left. We've had the bear, actually. We've had the bear pass completion. We've had equal pass completion. They are now starting to dominate possession, which is fine with me. Ball comes out now. Lynch really should be in the box. He is a tall boy. Lynch does whip it in. Junio... Can't get there. It is saved by Blanco. Inter a 2 0 up against TNS. Slavia Prague a 4 0 down to Liverpool. Hogland, Nagib can't get there. 4 0 now to Real Madrid as well, who are looking to just absolutely dominate this, this Champions League run. Jamie Hogland. Ball in, Randall does very well there. Fabio Jose now can bring it out, but he does a very poor job, and Dominguez picks it up. Ajax 3-2 up against Tottenham. We are right into the business end now. Every game matters, and surely he's offside. That very poor play all around. Um, one, two, three, four. I've made all my subs, so there's nothing... I can really do to influence this game. Five added minutes. We are clinging in here. And we do manage to get the win. Very, very big win for us. We'll be back with that game against Bayern Munich. So here we are 
I've done the maths. We're probably not finishing in the top eight. I am not going to even bother showing you that because we are, I think, 10th. And the next five teams are all on the same amount of points unless we absolutely throstle Munich. And I mean, we would need to win probably eight or nine nil. It's not going to happen. So we know what we need to do. Win. Win comfortably. I just don't think it's going to happen. In all honesty, I think the amount of teams and the teams that everyone's got to play... There's just no real chance of it happening for us. So all we can do is, like, here. Actually, Milan, potentially. Potentially, there might be a few teams that we can get in front of. I didn't really look at goal difference overly. I didn't look at goal difference overly. So maybe, just maybe, a win... By three goals would be enough. So then we still have to win the game. But maybe. I mean, the only issue is you look at the teams that aren't playing. That are all on 13 points. Yeah, we, we need to win by four or five goals to give us any hope in hell. So I just, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm not too focused on it happening. And I'm just going to instead focus on the, the positives that we're here. A win would see us finish on 16 points. And 16 points is a decent showing. It's a very, very decent showing, 16 points. And, that, and that's all we can say about it. Because we're not catching Paris Saint-Germain. So, yeah, Benfica, that Benfica game really, really... Has cost us because a point in that game, and we'd be near enough home and dry. But yeah, that, that's the game that's really, really cost us. I want to say, I bring this this man moaned and moaned and moaned and moaned and moaned and moaned that he wasn't getting the game time he needed. And this is what he goes and does. This is what he goes and does. Gets himself sent off. Ball. And uh, now... Great. What we need is our replacement right back. Injured. So we're going to have to bring in... Joel... Put Lynch up front. No, no, no. We've uh, massively, massively messed this one up. Uh, that red card is just awful. But Lynch brings it down nicely. Lynch shoots. He's at the bar. Oh, that was a chance. That really, really was a chance. That truly, truly was a chance. We would be needing quite a few teams to... Oh, Blanchard. And he's well, well, well on side. And that's a great save. Oh, that's a great save. Can we keep it out, though? Do you need... With this... No. Offside? I think he might be offside there. I think he might be offside. Offside. We got lucky. We were very, very lucky there. Right, can we score from a corner? Come on, boys. Come on, give us some hope. Give us a little sprinkle of hope. Give us a little sprinkle, sprinkle, little sprinkle of hope! That's what we need! Barry Bowden! With the goal of dummy voice in my throat and please. Goal award and we're 1-0 up. We're 1-0 up. And that's all that matters right now. Bigger issue is Milan are also winning their game. We really could do 
with scoring another goal here. Oh, Bowden can't get the end of it. And they just push all the way through and they just... All told to this. Man wants to be in. Man said, I'm angry, I'm not in your team. And you bring him back and this is what he goes and does. And now Takeda gets himself injured. We'll bring on Begovic. Um, bring on Jose. Bring on Scott in. Oh, we can't do that. And... The draw, the draw means nothing to us. We have to go for the win here. So we might as well chuck everyone forward. Might as well go very attacking. Because the draw does absolutely nothing for us. Ball is out. Blanchard is going to chase. Come on. Get up the pitch, everyone. Run with everything you've got. But, yo, Jose. Oh, please, across. Why are you shooting? Why did you think shooting was the right thing to do there? Oh, and we're going to be in the round of 16 playoffs. We should have won that. Tulsa, you're going to be screamed at. You are massively, massively going to be screamed at for that. Oh. Well, we've made it through to the round of 16. They're both out for ages. Great. You. Um... No, you can find two weeks wages. Oh, absolute disgraceful. You better accept your fine. I won't hear any bloody moaning for it. Right. We'll be back. For the round of 16, whenever it, whenever it is in the next episode. It's devastating, absolutely devastating. I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye for now.